Hello and welcome back to the Saints FM series. As you can see, we're a little bit further into the future. Let me give you a recap. For our first match, we took a trip away to Anfield. And as you know, our keeper, Gavin Bazunu, is injured. And while the youngster didn't do a good job, as we didn't get hit for one or two or three, but four goals in the first half with Liverpool basically scoring every single shot. And into the second half, they did make it 5-0. But then Sarah did get a goal at the end with us losing 5-1. We then looked to bounce back as we hosted Sunderland and we started well with our superstar striker, Pedro Montero, scoring from the cross. And that was it as we managed to win 1-0. And then Bazunu decided, hey... I'll get injured again, but this time he's out for six weeks. Kubo also got injured, and he is now out for four weeks. And due to Bazunu being injured, I decided we had to sign someone. And we signed Van der Hart, who is awful, but better than our youngster. And no joke, I had put Dibbling into the first team for a few days, and he instantly got injured. This game absolutely hates me. We then had to take a trip away to Manchester City, and well, we all could have predicted this. We got absolutely dicked. As we were down 3-0 within 33 minutes, but luckily for us, they took their foot off the gas as we just settled for a 3-0 defeat. We then hosted Tottenham and we took the lead halfway through the first half, but our injury problems continued as Doig was forced off the pitch. We managed to hold on to a 1-0 win, but Doig is confirmed to be injured for six weeks, and then Collins decided to get injured for four weeks. I'm generally lost for words at the moment for how awful our luck has been. And with half of our team out at this point, we took a trip to Leeds. Well, we all know our waveform is horrible, so it's no surprise we conceded first. And then late into the game, we conceded again as Leeds made it 2-0. And in true Saints fashion, we scored when it didn't matter, with only minutes remaining as we lost 2-1. And we got another injury as Walker Peters is ruled out for three weeks. We then hosted Burnley and we started well with Pedro scoring another header to give us the lead. But completely against the runner play, Burnley scored to make it 1-0. And that was it as we somehow did not win this game as we had 22 shots and 11 on target to Burnley's two shots and one on target. This basically just sums up how fucking bad we've been this season. Now... <laughs> It's not been good viewing. Um, we've been dreadful. We've been awfully bad this season, and it's not been helped by what I believe is the big factor, and that's been Gavin Bazunu being out for seven weeks so far this season. We're only in November. He's barely featured this year, and when he has featured, he's had three clean sheets in five games with an average rating of 7.14. He's been a crucial player, and the results <laughs> with the other keepers have been dodgy. This guy has conceded six and four with only one clean sheet with 6.75 average and the youngsters conceded 12 and 3 so yeah it's been dodgy but Bazunu is back fit now so hopefully maybe our season can kick start but we've had such an injury crisis Collins has been injured Walker Peters Doig is still injured Wharton had a bit of an injury Tyler Dibbing I bring him up to the first team instantly injured like what um, Sopani has also been injured as well but they're all sort of coming back slowly so hopefully we can get some fucking form. Because obviously in the league, it's not the best viewing. 13th, we were looking at trying to break into Europe and we're already seven points behind seventh. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy so far. All right, this is going to be the team for today. Gavin Mizunu is back finally. Walker Peters, who's not 100% fit. Nevers Darius, Nevers Collins, but they're all playing. Polinia is defensive mid. Williams, who's actually played quite well, even though the team's been in really shit form. So he's starting to sort of break his way into the first team. Carlos Alcaraz obviously playing. Kubo Adozi and our boy Pedro, who is doing okay. He's got three goals in eight games, which isn't bad. But it's more just the fact that I think it's just unlucky that we're really not firing this season so far. So if we can get into some form, I reckon he will be a massive asset. But let's get into it. We play Brentford away, the worst team in the league. Please, can we get a win? It would be the perfect start to the day. Halftime, nil little really poor performance from both teams. It's been a dreadful game. Uh, don't know what the fuck that is. Oh my god, here we go. Here we go, we're conceding a shit goal based off our own mistakes. Nice. I can't stand this, I, I can't. Uh, first game of the day, and we concede an away goal from a mistake again. Basic fucking errors every time with this team. I'm, I'm honestly ready to just write off this season and just go, we're not going to achieve anything special this season and just start planning for next season because this is just ridiculous at this point. We are genuinely so unbelievably poor this year. Oh, they're great defending. Great defending. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Fucking cow. One game in, and I'm already just wanting to turn off the game. This season, I'm writing off. I'm doing it right now. We're not doing anything this year. 
this team is just defensively absolutely dreadful this year. I am going to be actively starting to look for a centre back because I think Balakotchap's playing fine, but I don't think Collins is up to the performance of last season. So I'm going to start looking at a centre back to sign because this is just unacceptable. Really not good enough, this shit. We cannot win an away game to save our lives. And then we can't even win home games at this point. So, yeah. Yeah, this is just disappointing. All right. Next game, we travel away to West Ham. So, this is a fucking loss. We sit 13th. West Ham sit just ahead of us. But this season's just been a disgrace, really. Uh, we basically have our full fit team. Sikumara's coming in. hudson is coming in. And Doig is coming in back from injury. Uh, it would be a miracle if we don't lose this game. Simple as that. Mara, can you play Kubo down line? You can. Kubo. Yeah, that's awesome, Kubo. Can we pass the ball, please? Willems. Alcaraz, really, really, we're shooting from distance just anywhere now. Yeah, oh, man, that's not the game plan. Nice play, Kubo. Loses it instantly. Oh, my, all that build-up just to lose it. The, the, the one time we actually try and get the ball into the final field, we lose it. And then it's going to hit us on the break. Lucas. Yeah, def oh, fuck this, bro. Seriously, this is just dumb. It's just, it's, yeah, this season and last season with away games has just been really not enjoyable to witness, to be honest. Again, we concede from giving the ball away and they just get a lucky deflection. Like, can I get some fucking luck away from home? Is it possible? There we go. Lucas has passed Wikipedia's like he's not even there. There's just no point. Might as well just fucking go on holiday for the rest of the season and try sell all the shit cunts. I don't understand how we're so bad this year. I really don't. We should be better than last season. Uh, give the ball away again. It's not that hard of a pass, but yeah, give it away again. It is ridiculous, this team this season. And it's 3-0. Yeah, whatever. There's just no point even like giving a shit this season. Nice, Mara. No, awesome. Fucking Christ, bro. This is just unbelievable. We're just like, we're not even a shadow of ourselves this season. Like, this is not the same team in the slightest. Oh, there you go. There's a fourth. Oh, I'm lost. I'm lost. I don't know how with this shit. I really don't. How is Bazunu playing a seven? He just ticked down to 6.9. He's playing a seven when we've, we're down 4 0 at half time. Uh, I don't know what to do, to be honest. Because it's not as if, like, you know, it's not as if we're playing well at home. Like, we're not. Like, we have barely any points at home either. It's not like like last season where we were so unbelievably good at home and so poor away. We're just poor in all areas. Uh, yeah, I've, I've tweaked the tactics countless times and yet we can't function as a team. I do not know what the issue is, but who the fuck cares at this point? Dozy shoots. Yeah, or you could play it across goal to our strike and a tapper. Nah, I'll just shoot, brother. Yeah, awesome. Oh, this has got to be a goal. Oh, he scored. Pedro, he gets an actual chance and scores. Like, I don't think Pedro's played bad. We're just not good this season. It's really that simple. I mean, with seven shots, it's not exactly like he's got much service this season. I don't think I've seen him miss a chance, really. I mean, I, we've seen Dia miss fucking literal, like, tap-ins. I don't think he's missed a chance this season. We're just so awful. Really bad. So we are going to draw... Plymouth in the cup. Didn't we play Plymouth last season? I think we did, but <laughs> I have no faith that this team's good enough to get to a final anyway. All right, another day, another game. Hosting Wolves. Wolves sit below us. They sit 16th. We're two points ahead of them. Uh, a home game, so maybe we won't play like shit. hudson Adoy, Alcaraz, and Kubo have all been dropped for Dozy Sara Stings. Pedro's back into the starting lineup. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all I've got to say. I'm just over this. The only way to make me feel any better will be to win some fucking games. Doig, Sara, Paulinho, Pedro, penalty. We will take that. I don't... I need to go for my penalty takers again. I can't remember who the fuck my penalty takers are. With Alcaraz not playing, I'm not sure who's going to take this. No, it stings. Stings, misses. Yeah, about sums up our season, doesn't it? Yeah, fucking awesome. No, Sarah. Sarah. Charles. Adozi. Why would you pass that? 
Why? He's offside by a mile. Just go yourself, Adozi. Oh, it's just not it's just not happening this season. It really isn't. Nice, Adozi picks it up. Sarah into Pedro. Into Sting. Stings. One on one. Stings. Oh my god. Oh my god. He hits the post and Adozi misses a tap in. It's an open goal, brother. Just you just have to get on target. The yeah, just end the season, bro. This is ridiculous. Nice play. Pedro's in. Pedro's in. Pedro doesn't shoot. <sighs> that's a red card, surely. Surely that's a red card, referee. And he's sent off. Nito's gone. Fucking Christ, if we don't win this game, this is going to be a disgrace. We have to win this game. We should be up 3-0 already. Oh, Christ. Stings needs to come off. He's had a fucking howler. Walker Peters to Kubo. Kubo still. Kubo! Three minutes into the game, off the bench, and he puts it in. Thank Christ for that. Larios into Sara. Sara, good turn. Pedro! Lovely finish. When he does want to shoot, he scores. Brilliant stuff. Larios. Larios doesn't want to cross it. Hudson Adoy to Alcaraz to Walker Peters. It's in. It's free. Hopefully, this win can really kickstart our season because we are desperate to find some form. That's another red. They're down to nine. Surely they're down to nine, ref. They are. Oh, Wolves. What is going on? We're going very attacking. I want to really... I want to try and get some more goals. Kubo. It's Pedro. He's in. He may be offside. I thought he might have been offside. We'll see. But again, clinical finish. And he's on. He's got a brace. Yes, Pedro. Find some form for me, baby. Okay, guys. That's awful defending. <laughs> That's one of the worst misses. That's a dear. That is a dear finish if I've ever seen it. And it's 4-0. The red card definitely helped. I mean, to be fair, before the red card even happened, we should have been up 3-0 anyway. It was a good performance, but we got to be more clinical. We should have been up 3-0 before the red card. And it should have been easy game done. But hopefully Pedro with those two goals can find some form. All right, it is uh, basically the same team except Kubo comes in and Williams comes in. Uh, we're away to Chelsea. Chelsea's are just above us in 11th, but away games, I just go into it assuming we're going to lose. Uh, let's just hope we can get something here. I feel like the system is improving, but we're just bad this year because there's been a few games this season where we've played away to teams and we've dominated and should have won. It's just a matter of just being clinical and defending well. Zidane Zidane's the Chelsea manager. Okay. Oh my god. Giving the ball away stupidly from Kubo. Kubo and Pedro are on the same wavelength. Mudrik. Okay, apparently he's fucking messy. What a save from Bazunu. Defense. That's not good enough. He's not messy. He can't be doing that. Corner ball for Chelsea. Belakotchat wins it. Sterling. Bazunu again. What a save. Defense. Can we wake the fuck up? All right, it's half time. I mean, Chelsea should be winning. I'm surprised they're not winning. But we're still level going into the break. Chelsea come again, poor defending, and it's a poor finish. I mean, we have, we've been so lucky today. I'm just waiting for a misplaced pass at this point. It's been like that all season. Got it wide, Walker Peters, still going, Walker Peters, whips it in. Pedro, not bad. That's what we've got to do. We've got to get it forward to Pedro. I mean, he needs, he needs something. Chelsea and Mudrick. Oh my god, I hate those challenges because I just always think it's going to be a penalty regardless of where the ball goes, but Mudrick... And we've lost uh, in the last eight minutes. Uh, we got lucky to get this far. Whatever. Man, we just can't. We just, away from home, just never goes well for us. Never goes our way. Yeah, ball on behind. Sufal's not fast enough for that. Yeah, yeah, somehow, somehow that gets through. I mean, we went for it. It is what it is. I didn't come here thinking we'd get anything anyway. Oh, man. It is proving really difficult to change our fortunes away from home. Even today, we got very lucky. We should have been down probably two at half time. And we still managed to lose. <sighs> bro. All right. Another day, another dollar. And we're playing Everton. So, <laughs> this is going to go great, isn't it? Everton sit in seventh. Not doing as well as last season, but they still own only six points off the top, so they could easily get back into the top four. We obviously aren't doing the best, but we host Everton, who we can't beat. So I cannot wait to play this game. Uh, it's the normal team, A team. Um, really, no injuries to speak of as it stands. Ralph Hasnoodle, have mercy on my soul, please. 
Please, I'm begging. Well, it's half time, and Everton haven't had a shot. So I guess that's positive. Uh, we haven't really done anything either. But hey, we're not losing. And here come Everton with their first attack. And they nearly score. Bazunu, what a save. That's their first shot of the game, and it should be 1-0. That's a no with the ball in. Okay, what the fuck are we doing? What the fuck? What are we doing, guys? We're just taking the pass. Why would we play it? Just get in the box, bro. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And we concede from our own brain dead errors. Again, it's just classic, classic, classic. I don't think he's offside, so I don't think this is going to be called back. And it's not. And we're losing to just fucking dreadful decision making yet again. We are just so stupid this season. Nice play. Pedro's through. Pedro's through. Pedro. Pedro. Oh, my God, bro. Whatever. Let's ban it, bro. Oh, he should score that. Fuck me, bro. This is just ridiculous, man. It really is getting to a point where it's just ridiculous. How fucking bad we are this season is just unbelievable. Bro. Our youth intake is fucking abysmal. Oh, the season just gets worse by the minute, bro. Genuinely. Oh, brother. Yeah. Pedro's injured. I kind of just don't want to play this season. Just fucking skip it. I'm bored of this. Fuck me. Oh, Christ. We just, nothing, nothing is going the direction it should be in this team. It is just an absolute fuck. It's just a show. It's a show this year. All right, this is the team to play Newcastle away from home. Newcastle sit in eighth. We're honestly in a relegation battle this season. We genuinely are. We're that fucking awful. But this is the team. I mean, obviously, Pedro's injured, so Mara's coming in. Paulini and Williams and Alcaraz are midfield three. Let me change that. And then, obviously, the normal back four. Let's just get into it and hope we can get a good result. But it is away from home, so no doubt we'll concede three shit goals and lose 7-1. Because I'm fucking over it. Can't uh, step through already. Is that Bruno Fernandes? Two minutes in, we're losing. I'm fucking over this. I, like, I genuinely don't know what to do. Like, it's not like, uh, this is the first season, or maybe the second season, it's the same, oh, we can't win away from home. Like, we were completely fine in the first season in the Prem, completely fine in the Championship. We just now suck, apparently. And I've tried tweaking it like crazy. Like, little tweaks here and there to see if it makes a difference, but it just doesn't. Like, we just don't get better. Yeah, great defending, guys. No one marks him. How has he missed? I won't lie to you, I'm feeling really defeated this season. I just, I'm getting into every game just thinking there's no chance we're going to win this. We just constantly cannot play football anymore. Uh, like, this game's already over. Like, we're not scoring two. We'll concede a shit goal in five minutes in this half and it'll be over. Oh, here we go. Fucking a minute in. What is going on? Oh, they nearly go. They hit the post. A little bit of luck for us, I guess. Oh, there they come straight back. Oh, and that's going to be two. No, what a save. I mean, somehow we're not down 2 now. It's taken a miracle. Walker Peters with the ball in. Dia scores! And he's offside. Oh, <laughs> yes, sick bad. No, he's not offside. We score. Come on. I'm going to keep attacking because in reality, I'm fucking over this. I want to win more than anything. Nice ball. Dibbling. Dibbling. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Unlucky. His Premier League debut for under me. And he's hit the crossbar. It's unfortunate. All right, we get a point on the road. That's a fucking miracle in itself. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Ah, oh, whatever. Fuck it. I'm mentally gone, boys. I'm mentally in the summer looking at planning a new team. We did well in the last 20. I changed the system. I tweaked some stuff and it worked. But, I mean, I, I doubt if I tweak it again, it will work the same the next time. That was just, I think, purely luck. All right. Last game of the day because I'm, I've given up. United at home, United's at 6, we're in 14, we're only 5 points out of relegation. Haaland's on 18 goals, okay. Uh, yeah, J. Charles injured, so Wharton's playing with Paulinia. Walker Peters is suspended, so Soufal's coming in, and Diaz coming in for Mara, because obviously he scored last time. Baz is having a great fucking season. I mean, average of 7.15, he's literally insane, but our defense is really letting us down this season. And don't worry, I've identified an absolute fucking crackhead at centre-half, who will cost a lot, so... Depending on whether I can get him or not, Collins will leave. He's slightly, he's basically better than Collins. He's like 50-50. He's better than Collins in like three things. And then Collins better than three things. But he's 19 years old and he's got a world of potential and he's class already. So yeah, 
I'll be trying to get him in January if I can. He's unhappy as well, so that works in our favour. But this is a team. Go out there in United and just get some points on the board because I'm actually a little bit scared that we may just keep being shit and fucking actually get relegated. That would be the most anticlimactic fucking end to the series ever. Was that we're rising, 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 relegation, sacked, done. I mean, oh, sick, mate. Oiland fucking doing trying to uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, minute it in, baby. Oh, this team is a disgrace this season. We have one of the worst defenses in the league. You probably wouldn't have needed me to say that to guess it. We are fucking awful defensively this season. So there will be sales made. There will be signings made because the defense is utterly unacceptable. And it's not as if it's not as if I've changed system and I've done this or that. It's been the same back four majority of our fucking career. And yet suddenly they're awful. He's offside. Surely offside. Nice pass, Wharton. <laughs> now nah, I'm really liking this season. We're playing some really exquisite stuff. It's so good. Um, half time, just fucking awful. We're making subs. These guys are just fucking wasting my time with these performances. Nice, guys. You guys are just fucking dumb. I cannot be bothered. Collins heads it to no one. Sabani can heads it to no one. Yeah. And it's 2-0, yep. I'm done, bro. I'm done. This is just fucking stupid. This team is not the team that I know of the last four seasons. This is really just a disgrace. They're just dumb. Like, I feel like I could find smarter decision-making in the under-12s than what I'm seeing right now. It is unbelievable. Oh, they've given it away. This has to be a goal. And it's a half assed finish off the bar. Well done. Oh, Paulinia scored anyway. That stings. You didn't even try to score. Like, that is just a fucking embarrassing finish from you. We're back in the game from mistake. Let's hope that we can do something. No way. Oh, my. Nah, nah, nah. Fuck off. I'm over this. I'm over it. I can't be, I can't be fucking bothered. Genuinely. Why is Paulinia still on the pitch? I subbed him off. Oh, whatever. GG, boys. I just can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. This team is a disgrace this year. Go on, hit us for six, mate. Might as well. This team's been a fucking disgrace this season. Genuinely a fucking disgrace. Yeah, there you go. 3-0. Oh, I'm just not bothered. Not bothered. Season's gonna, uh, the series is gonna end this year because we're gonna get relegated. Because this is just... I've never experienced a fall off as big as this before in my life. How did they not make it four? Oh, they did. There you go. I don't know who the fuck that is. Ah, this is just, this is the honestly the most depressed I've ever been playing this game. Because, like, you get mad, right? Like, in FM, you have, like, the, the rages, you know, the pure hatred. Like, this is fucking stupid, blah, blah, blah. I'm past that. I don't think I've ever been past that in my life to the point where, like, I just don't get mad. I've just accepted that this is what's going to happen. Like, I've just accepted we're not going to succeed this season. I've accepted we're going to lose basically every game. I've accepted that this team's going to do the dumbest mistakes possible. And it's just a sad reality, really. It's just a sad reality. I mean, what the fuck are they doing? I don't know. How does Dia not score that? Like, he's offside, but how does he not score? Oh, man, this team is just really good. <laughs> really good. It's got to be far. He's offside. And he's missed as well. That's ass, mate. Oh, just finish the game, brother. I'm over watching this. I'm over playing this, to be honest. This is, this is going to ruin my motivation to record this series, I'll tell you right now. I was feeling so good about this season. It's like FM. That, where are you going? I think it's fucking Hudson Adoy. Where are you running? It's like FM understood my brain patterns and went, oh, he's excited for the season. He's optimistic. Well, we've got another thing coming, mate. We're going to make you shit, fella. 5-1. And, yeah. I mean, we have the worst defense in the league. Somehow. I t somehow we do. Yeah, bloody sick, mate. At the end of the day, like, you can try change tactics. I have done. Like, I'm not going to go and start playing, like, a 4-4-2 dime and, like, randomly chuck a brand new system in. Because at the end of the day, especially the home games... We've proven that the team is and the system is good enough to win games. I mean, we lost three at home last season in the Premier League. We bet five of the six, uh, five of the six of the top six at home. I mean, 
It's not as if suddenly you're turned to shit. It's just we genuinely are not playing well this season. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to fix this. I think the only way to fix it, in my opinion, is to... Uh, 74 bill. I think I could probably get us down to 50, maybe, but... Um, I think the only way to fix this is just really sticking with it and hope that we can just get a few, uh, few, go what? I'll just have to wait for him to be unhappy. I might try and make him unhappy. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't think there's much, much more I can do. And maybe we won't get that guy because, uh, I don't think he's going to request a transfer and I can't really afford, well, I can afford to pay 70 more up front, but I don't really want to. Like, I just, I'm not a fan of that. But hey, if it, if it keeps getting worse... I mean, January's just about to happen. If it keeps getting worse by the end of January, I may just fucking hit the red button and just buy him and hope that he can improve the defense. Because at this point, I mean, we're actually in a relegation battle. So it's not as if I can comfortably say, oh, next season will be better. Next season, I might not be here. I might be sacked. So, yeah, this is the most demoralizing fucking FM series I've ever had in my life. I've played FM for probably one and a half thousand hours in my entire life. And this is the most I've been sort of like, I am stumped and I don't know what to do. I feel like we're destined to just releg get relegated this season. I feel like it's written in the stars. When we first get promoted, I don't know how we can go from mid-table home record and away record to second season best home record. Or we were tied with like a couple of teams. And then one of the worst away records. And then this season, we're just bad in both categories. I'm not sure how we've managed that, to be honest. And all I've done is improve the team slowly. I've not suddenly bought 15 players in. And it's all a bit of a mess. There's no chemistry. Like, a major the core of the team is still there. We still have Walker Peters, Doig, Bella Kochap, Bazunu, Shay Charles. We still have Alcaraz. We still have Adozi, Mara, and all these players that have been here since basically the first season. So it is really shocking that we're this bad. Yeah, but that's going to be the end of this episode. We sit in 16th, four points out of relegation. We really just have to hope that the four teams below us just really suck and continue to suck the whole season. Because I genuinely, with the current performances, because at the end of the day, it's not as if we're getting on the wrong side of the result. We're playing decently well, and maybe like, you know, we're just getting a bit unlucky or whatever. We're just ass. Like, we're getting spanked constantly. Like, we've got the fourth worst defense in the league. We've conceded 34 goals in our first 18 games, which is just unacceptable. 21 goals is shockingly low. I mean, if we compare it to last season, we're sort of mid-table for goals conceded, but for goals four, we're, you know, just off. We're like seventh or eighth. Like, we were scoring enough goals to sort of counteract our poor defending, but this season, it's completely the opposite. Like, our home form is one of the worst. I mean, we've only won three out of our nine games. We've already lost more games. We've already dropped more, more points this season at home in nine games in the first half than we did last season and our away record is about the same is about the same as last year just one win we got three wins i think last season away from home so uh, yeah, that's the end of the episode i'm stumped don't know what to do um but we'll figure it out hopefully yeah i'm absolutely demoralized but i hope you all enjoyed like scrove did and i'll see you boys in the next episode where hope hopefully we find form and we're not going to get sacked because if we get sacked i'm actually going to be really depressed because i felt like we were on the verge of maybe starting to get somewhere so yeah i'll see you next time and bloody have a good one i guess i'm, I'm not gonna have a good one i'm fucking depressed